What's going on, guys? Happy holidays. I know I didn't announce anything, but I thought I would just go live and say, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope that most of you, well, I know most of you in America, this is a holiday. Uh, but as of right now, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the rest of the world's going, huh? Uh, <laughs> so thank you for the thumbs up. Uh, we had a wonderful, wonderful day here in Thailand. Uh, the weather was nice oh, in Kamala. I can only speak about Kamala. The weather was nice. Boomer had a, um, thank you, Mr. Mitch. Boomer had a, uh, Thanksgiving party that was off the chart. Believe it or not, it was wonderful. And tomorrow, you know what we get to do? Not just turkey sandwiches. Mm. Ham sandwiches, turkey sandwiches, uh, dessert leftovers. Oh, there's so much, so much going on. Hello, stuck in Florida. Hello, Bobby. Hello, Norm. Uh, Bernie, Steve, what's going on, guys? Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for everything. I just, again, I, <clears throat> I have to be a little bit quiet because my neighbors, they get angry if I yell too much. It's 3.05 a.m. in Thailand. And uh, if I get too loud, then the neighbors start knocking on the door going, what's your problem, man? Why are you yelling? Happy Thanksgiving to you. Happy Thanksgiving. If you guys don't celebrate Thanksgiving, um, it, it's just it kind of it kind of bums me out because it's one of the American holidays that people just love to go to, except for the family, like for the food. You love it. Hanging out with your family. It gets a little uh, ting dong, as we say, a little ting dong. But it was great. We had a great day here in Kamala at Boomer's Restaurant with the uh, Thanksgiving special that we had. Um, we planned, dude, I'll tell you the story real quick right before you sign off. Boomer has a, a Swedish chef that works two doors down. So they got together for Thanksgiving and Boomer said, you can do this part of it. I'll do this part of it. We'll work together and we can get it all done. No problem for Thursday. And that was the case. But being from Sweden, Swedish, uh, th there is no Thanksgiving Thursday in Sweden. So there was a loss in translation. And so at five o'clock today, when everything was supposed to be served and done. Hey, Michael. Hey, Tom. Hey, Michael. Uh, no, um, what happened was there was no food ready at five o'clock. None. None. Only uh, desserts were on the table at five o'clock. And the dinner was supposed to start at five o'clock. So we called uh, Linus. If you guys ever get over here and get to go to Linus's bakery, oh my God. Oh, the, mwah. anyway, we called him. It's like, it's today. Linus is like, no, it's not today. It's Saturday. That's what I, what is today? Within two hours, Linus had prepared turkey, ham, uh, cranberry sauce. Uh, mashed potatoes, um, corn, everything, everything was done within two hours. So shout out to Linus. Um, I'm going to be making a video from his restaurant soon. This guy, this guy pulled through because it was just a miscommunication. And Linus thought, oh, we're having Thanksgiving on Saturday. And Boomer called him at five and said, Where's food? And Linus is like, it'll be there Saturday. Uh, it was hilarious. I guess you had to be there. But I want to say one of the best, one of the best evenings, days ever. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you so much, guys. But happy holidays to you. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Uh, if you're in America, you have the day off. Um, a lot of you have the day off. And you're watching football and stuff. 
Thank you, Terry. Happy Turkey Day to you, Rob. <laughs> Robbie. Hello, Steve. Stuck. Andrew. Bernie. Thank you guys so much. It was a wonderful Thanksgiving here. Usually, I'm back in America with my family, uh, having uh, Thanksgiving there. But the past year has kept me from even going there for the 4th of July, uh, for anything. I'm really hoping that I'm really hoping that this vid thing lightens up at the beginning of next year and I can go back home at least for, you know, Easter or something. That would be nice. Hey, Rob, stuck in uh, UK, pissed that I can't get there. You guys, you guys are on your way back. In case you didn't know it, uh, they're starting to let people back in over here. I don't know the rules and regulations, but the tour buses, very few, but they're starting to show up. So, uh, uh, people are starting to come back. I don't know how and why. Maybe they have these elite visas or these special visas and such. Um, I'm waving at all of you that are in the conversation right now. Uh, not that I don't appreciate speaking to you one-on-one, -on -one, but I just, thank you. 28 thumbs up. Oh, man. So expect John. Oh, wow. Haven't seen you in a long time. Happy Thanksgiving to you, sir. Terry, happy. Uh, but so anyway, people are starting to show back up. And hopefully that's a good thing. I'm hoping that there's this secret little way of getting back into Thailand now. That's what I'm hoping for. But I don't know if that's the case. I just think that people are getting here on their visas that they've had before or they lived here before or they have these elite visas or, or whatnot. Mm. Eric, here, Andrew... Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And if any of you don't uh, do Thanksgiving, just it's a thankful day. So thank you for being on the channel. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for my Patreons. Thank you for my members. Thank you for the, just watching the channel. Thank you for being nice and not being uh, <laughs> not being a mean person. Thank you for wanting to come to Thailand. I enjoy it when you guys come over here. Uh, when you get over here, when we all get back together, uh, let's just hang out somewhere and have a beer. I would really love to see it. Dirk, thank you so much for the 20. Happy Thanksgiving, Rob. Um, I share some of the Cajun fried turkey with you if you were here. Oh, Cajun fried turkey. That sounds good. I'll tell you what we actually did over here that was weird. Boomer bought a turkey from Villa Market, which was cooked in America, frozen, shipped to Thailand, and then, hey, Lionel, good to see you here. I love you too, Lionel. Uh, thank you for your friendship. Cooked in America, the turkey was cooked in America, frozen in America, shipped to Thailand, frozen. Thawed out within two days, after two days, cut and then served. And this turkey, I, I'm not supported by this company at all. I'm not. But it was a butterball turkey. Even after all of this, you could take your fork into the sliced turkey and twist it. And it would come into a piece. And it was juicy. I mean, we talked about how incredibly good this turkey was to have gone through all of that. Uh, cooked in America, frozen in America, shipped overseas, stayed frozen, thawed, cut, served, and still juicy? That's almost impossible. I mean, if I told you that you could do if I was the spokesperson for Butterball and I told you that, you would be like, bullshit, Rob. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. Hey, Joe, thank you for showing up. What's going on? Dirk, expect, expect, says, 
Cajun fried turkey that sounds awesome. Butterfly does it right. Uh, Butterball does it right. Hi, Rob. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, Nicholas, hello. Marty, what's going on? Happy Thanksgiving. Stuck in Florida. What's up? But I want to say happy Thanksgiving. You guys have uh, been wonderful. Sorry with the... Uh, you guys have been wonderful. It's, it's really been cool. It's 3.14... It's 3.14 in the morning. I'm on a couple of Leos. But uh, this is the time that most of you are awake. So I wanted to get, you know, at least online and say, Happy Thanksgiving. Moonlight Mist and Memories. That's a nice name. Thanks for the great memories, Rob. Happy Thanksgiving. Moonlight Mist and Memories. That's a great title. Dude, seriously, you did good. Butterballs are the, Mr. Mitch says, butterballs are the best. They don't skimp on the growth hormones or antibiotics. <laughs> okay. John Doe, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Almost time for a Leo breakfast. Wait, wait, wait. No. This one, okay. Hold on. This one's pretty much full, but we should do one for Thanksgiving. Should we not? Oh, Leo. All right. To celebrate with you guys, since we're not in the same room, I don't know if you guys are watching football or not, but here we go. Okay. I can't do this right in front of the computer because I don't want to spray it, but happy Thanksgiving. Okay. Cheers. Post. Skull. Cheers. Salute. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Mm. It's fun to hang out with you guys. It really is. Rudy. Prost. So you're German. Nice. Nothing better than the sound of a beer cracking open. Expect John, I'm drinking a beer present at the moment. Stuck in Florida, there are thousands of turkey farms living like Lionel. Yeah, you guys, Lionel, are you still here? If Lionel, if you're still here, say hello. Uh, Ireland, Ireland. J O J O Brian. Uh, see, if I ever try to do any kind of accent, I always mess it up. So I, I apologize. Ronnie, hello from Sweden. If you guys have never been in contact with people from Sweden, you have no idea. Uh, you guys get rid of Bangkok. Get rid of that guy for me, please. Moderators, take care of him, please. I don't know where he... Thank you. Okay, so if you okay, before I talk about Lionel, I'm going to talk about uh, Swedish people. Kamala is um, predominantly expat Swedish, and they are the most wonderful people I've ever met in my entire life. These people are so kind and generous and warm and fuzzy, and they just no fighting. They don't want fighting. They don't want war. They don't want arguments. They just want to have a decent time. So if you've never been to Sweden or if you've never been to Kambala and met people from Sweden, I want to tell you that. Now, having said that, Thanksgiving, Lionel, if you've never watched his channel, um, Lionel is in Singapore and Lionel is, oh, I can't describe his channel because it's nothing like mine. So if you like my channel, I don't think you're going to like living like Lionel's channel, but you should go check it out because you know, all he wants to do is to make people smile and make people happy, which is crazy uh, just to be a nice guy. But Lionel living like Lionel is a happy, happy channel. So if you want to just go watch a happy, happy channel about a guy that gets in love. No, I shouldn't say love. But a guy that gets so attached to his electronic motorbikes, scooters, pads, uh, you know, 
I, anyways, is the is motorbike is <laughs> go watch his channel. I can't describe it. It's it's kind of kooky for me, but he's a wonderful guy. And I tell you what, he'd be one of the best friends you've ever had if you ever met him. That's true. It's an awesome channel, he says. Yeah, but that's him. That's what he's saying. Mr. Mitch says, Living Like Lionel's channel. Oh, thank you, Mr. Mitch. Expect John Living Like Lionel's a great person. Yeah, he is a great person and a great channel. I think he's silly. Living Like Lionel is a silly channel. So if you watch it, sometimes you think, what was I doing? He, he started the channel with this cute girl. He got rid of a motorbike. He bought a motorbike. He bought an iPad. He went to the store. There was a baby involved, and they went to the toy store, but the toy store was closed. And at the end of the video, they're all at McDonald's having food, and that's the end of the video. And at the end of it, sometimes I'm like, what, what, what just happened? I have no idea. And that's, that's one of my best friends over here in uh, Southeast Asia is Lionel. Love you, Lionel. <laughs> Lionel saying, what? Stop, Rob. <laughs> I'm sure after this uh, video, I'm going to get a phone call for sure. Why do you talk about my channel this way? Dude, your channel is awesome. If it wasn't awesome, I wouldn't talk about it this way. Oh, yeah, Greg, we're still talking about the hinges. Oh, my God. That's old school, guys. You see these hinges up here? Uh, I had a subscriber at one time. I don't know what happened to him. I guess he just gave up and quit. But he he hated these these hinges. Nun song sound. Such a distraction. Guys, I'm gonna go on Netflix and I'm just gonna watch a, a movie. I don't know what I'm gonna watch right now. Got any suggestions on Netflix what I should watch right now? Mind you, I'm in uh, Southeast Asia. I might not get the same movie. But I'm in the mood for a Thanksgiving uh, movie. So any any ideas? Mr. Mitch, living like Lano stuck in Florida. Greg, Dirk, you guys got any ideas on what kind of movie on Netflix I should watch tonight? Don't start suggesting porn. If you do, I'm going to have my mods block you. <laughs> National Lampoon's, what, Vacation? That's actually a good one. They are like Canadians. Oh, uh, you're talking about okay. Oh wait. Star Star Wars, that's not on Netflix. Uh Stuck says I don't have Netflix. Are you guys watching American football? Is anyone watching American football? Watch the series called Happy. Expat John is just called Happy? Living Lionel, there's, there's a Netflix show called The Money that's a documentary. Yeah, I watched that one. Thank you, Lionel. I already watched that one. It's good. Cooking with, Li Cooking with Lionel? Lionel, Joe just said Cooking with Lionel. Oh, that's going to be terrible. I don't think Lionel can cook. Okay, expect John. Ex okay, happy. I got to write ha happy. Because this be happy. <laughs> Happy. All right. So when I get off here, I'll look and I'll see if it's on uh, this one over here. I started watching uh, Counterpart. It's not a Thanksgiving movie, but Joe, I know that. Is I'm waiting for Lionel to respond about cooking. Lionel, you can't cook, can you? I bet Lionel cannot cook. All I need is to spill. Oh, yeah, very funny. Hey, at least I tried. Yes, folks, if you didn't see the video of me cooking spaghetti and spilling it on the floor, you missed it. Uh, or if you get bored, you can check out my new channel. X-Pack, you can't do that. That that gets you automatically flagged on YouTube. You can't promote your own channels on here. It gets you flagged. Uh, nothing personal. It's just the way the algorithm is set up. If you If you try to promote your own channel... YouTube flags it. Hello, Peter. 
Happy Thanksgiving. Dan, hello, Mr. Mitch. 57 thumbs up. Man, we're doing good. 20 minutes in. I think this is enough, right? Shouldn't we shouldn't we all go and hang out with our family and loved ones if if that's the case or Saul Lino when you see him Halloween video. Let me tell you this, folks. As soon as I can get my ass on a plane back to Singapore uh, to go hang out with Lionel, I will. Because Singapore, to me, is like Disneyland. It really is. It's uh, clean, perfect, wonderful. Uh, a little bit too many rules, but so is Disneyland. So, uh, no. Joe, what is no? Oh, and so I'm going to go back to Singapore as soon as I can. Peter Jones. Is Jessica Rabbit, excuse me, is Jessica Rabbit still in Camelot? Dude, that's a Patreon question. And I'm not being an asshole here. I'm just saying, if you want to know personal stuff about ladies, uh, this is not the forum for it. I don't talk, <laughs> yeah. And the to be honest, to be honest, no, she's not here, but she could be tomorrow. That's the way life in Thailand works. People move left and right, up and back and forth, all over the place. So is Jessica right now in Camelot? I don't know personally. But if you want to know personal stuff about uh, people in the videos, uh, you're not going to get it from me. I'm, I'm just not going to talk about people. That, that's their personal life. If they want to be on camera with me, that's fine. And But after that, after they're off the camera, uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say where they are. I mean, it's just, that's just personal. All right. So enough about that. Donna, D Donna, I said, I was looking at Nana and Donald. Nana, Nana, Nana. I tried to go to Nana's tonight, and she closed early. Uh, uh, yeah, moderators, just take care. If you see someone, if you see someone that needs to go, just get rid of them. It's fine, no problems. I love that there's haters watching the show. We're, I'm people. I actually make money off of the haters when they show up here, Brian. Happy Thanksgiving, Rob. Hey, Brian. Man, long time. It, it was a great day, Brian. It really was a great day. I hope you guys have one over there. How are people holding up generally over there? Um, Imagine, okay, so if you guys want to know how the Thai people are holding up, 50% of the Thai people are fine. That No, let me take that down. 25 to 30% of the people are fine. The other ones have just went home waiting for this COVID to break and then they'll come back because they go home because when you go home, you don't actually need that much money. That's the way... But they live over here. Man, it's early, says Sam. Mr. Rick, happy in the Thanksgiving. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Happy Thanksgiving to you too as well, Andres. Uh, my name is Anna, Dan. But they do need hope. Yeah, of course they need hope. I mean, when there's no tourism here and I live you know, right in the middle of tourism town, then they have to go home and just wait, wait the storm out. I mean, a terrible example, but an example would be if in America, if we had a hurricane, they tell us, you know, for one or two days, you have to just hunker down and stay at home. But with this, this is like one or two years you have to hunker down and stay at home. And they will they will survive. Thai people survive. The the struggling the most struggling people in Thailand are the ones with debt because they bought a business right before all of this uh, or 
they they already had debt and they were in the beach area. And I showed you the video. If you didn't see it, I just made the video in Batong. And there's nobody there. There's McDonald's is closed. 7-Eleven is closed. I mean, God, if you're going to close down McDonald's and 7-Eleven, how in the world is uh, bada bada ABC company going to stay open? Oh, I'm getting a little upset. Sorry. This was a Thanksgiving video. We're going to be happy about it. Uh, Dan, have you lived in a bit? Yes, I have lived in a Isan village. Yes, I have. And it's wonderful and odd, and you're going to see it in the upcoming months. Uh, I'm going to go back up to a village, and I'm going to stay there for a while, where there's very few people uh, to hang out with, but everyone wants to hang out. If you've never been to Isan, this is not the beer that they serve you. They bring the big beers in, and they pour them in the little glasses, and you're never out of beer, and you're never out of food. That is Isan Village Living. Anyone that says different is not telling you the truth. Lars, I, I hate this. Forget the, the cold and lucky northern. I am in a... Uh, uh, Dan says it's Thanksgiving. And cold... Joe says, and cold showers. I'm confused on that one, but okay. Robert says in Asia, Rob, enjoy your motorbike ride in Patong. Thank you. I can, I can do that. I can do more motorbike rides. I wanted to stop and show you more, but really there was nothing to see. And honestly, my motorbike is so old, I was scared that it was going to die on me. So I just wanted to get there and get back without the motorbike stalling because I didn't have a phone number of a repairman close by. I know I would have been fine, but that was the case. Oh, man. 76 thumbs up, 97 people watching, 27 minutes in. Let's end this at 30 minutes because anyone that looks at live streams and sees two hours, they're always like, man, I didn't want to watch Rob for two hours. I didn't want to watch him for two minutes, but I really don't want to watch him for two hours. I live in rural I city. Dan says I live in rural I city now. Joe says the village, cold showers. Cold showers. Uh, Joe, what is the Celsius? 26? Is that cold up, up there for you? Because down here is 26. I get actually chilly at 26 degrees now, believe it or not, after being here for five years. Good year. Dirk, what the hell, man? Thank you. Gee, mercy. Happy Thanksgiving to you, Dirk. Thanks for sharing some of your day with us. No, thank you for sharing your day with me. Dirk, where are you from? Maybe you mean a uh, hot, hot heated shower, Greg. Well, Dirk, where are you from? Or do you have any questions? Or if you want to be silent, that's fine. But wow, you just made you just made Thanksgiving for me. I mean, I had two beers and cheers, cheers. And now nobody talks. Texas, I've watched you for so long and never really contributed. It's time I did something small. Oh, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. And I'm, I really feel for you guys in Texas. For everyone in America that's having to go through this, you're going through second waves. You're going through lockdowns. You're going through BS. I, no, no, I don't mean BS and like the government BS. I just mean it's just you wouldn't think that we would have to go through this. We've never experienced having to go through this. It's just BS. And so thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Mitch, for appreciating uh, Dirt. Yes, everyone should. Everyone. Thank you for just watching. You don't have to contribute. Um, I know sometimes it seems like, well, only the people that donate money get uh, a response. I, I don't want it to be that way. But I can tell you for sure it's just built that way that um, when someone does something nice like that, it just pops up on the screen. The whole screen goes red. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. 
Living life, Lionel says, love seeing your kindness around. Aw. And I, t I tell you what, do not watch Living Like Lionel. Don't watch that channel unless you want to cry or fall in love with some Singaporean young girl. Lionel, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying he's going to show you a beautiful young girl. You're going to fall in love with her, and then he's going to take her away. And you'll never see her again. No names mentioned. Don't watch this channel. Don't watch Living Like Lionel unless you want to smile and fall in love with a girl that you that you won't see again. Dave says, Rob, I can't wait to get back to Thailand. Yeah, I want you all to come to Phuket and have a beer with me. We'll go to Grill Bill. We'll go to Danny's place. We'll go to Boomer's. We'll go on the beach. Um, there's We'll go one of my favorite little spots that I don't talk a lot about. It's Lucky 13 on the beach. It's one of the best sweet little spots. We'll go there. We'll hang out. All right. Are we at 30 minutes? We're at 31 minutes. Let's cut this short. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. I love all of you. I just want to say happy Thanksgiving. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And I hope you fight with your family just like you always do. And I hope you apologize the next day to whoever you offended in your family, mom, dad, sister, brother, cousin, uncle, or whoever. Uh, try to get along because you never know how long you're going to have uh, with your family members. And you don't know if this is the last Thanksgiving you'll have with them. I haven't had a Thanksgiving in America now for a couple of years and I'm missing it a lot. So happy Thanksgiving to my family here. I put my hands here. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. All 96 of you that are right here right now, 91 thumbs up. Thank you so much. I'm going to have a beer. I'm going to go watch Netflix. Now I'm going to look up this show called Happy or Happiness. And uh, you guys, I hope you have a better day than I do. Because if you did, you're doing awesome. And if you didn't, think about this. Next year, when you get over here, if you get over here, we're going to have a good time. I will talk to you guys later. Guys, I love you. Thank you. Lionel, stop bitching at me. I guess I'll talk to you in a few minutes. Mr. Mitch, thank you for moderate all moderators. I, I, I don't see them all right now, but thanks for all the moderators that were here. Thanks for taking out some of the trolls. There's always going to be trolls because we are happy and they are not. Wait a minute. I need 100 thumbs up before I quit. I got 94. I need 100 thumbs up. Now I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to sit here and show you that this is a um, Gatorade packet. And Gatorade packet is just what one of my best friends sends over here. And that's the end of the show.